in the hotel lobby. Look at this. She said resort. Look at that. Freaking gorgeous. But anyway, we are waiting. Well, for one, we're in Mexico. So if you don't know that, then you've got some catching up to do. You should go watch those videos because they're so good. These are probably going to be some of my favorite videos like of life ever because as you may know, this is like my dream to be here. I'm super excited. We're going to go snorkeling this morning. We're waiting for that bus right there to pick us up. Well, it's already here. We just have to get on it. <laughs> Super excited. I brought my GoPro, so it's gonna have, hopefully it's gonna be a bunch of cool content. I think they might be coming for us right now. We'll see you guys there. We made it. We're gonna get ready. Water's right there. Safety gear, have to be safe out in the middle of the ocean. It's raining ready, and then we're gonna go over there. Gracias. Keep doing that. All right, let's do this. Not only did I forget sunscreen, I also forgot sunglasses. How deep is it right here? Eight feet. Eight feet? Yeah. That's crazy, you can see the bottom. It's eight feet. It's crazy to me how the ocean can be so clear. It is deceiving, it looks so close. It's like so, I don't wanna say ugly because I love the beach, but it's like so not clear anywhere in California. In here, it's like just crystal clear, beautiful. So you think you were right? Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. Mm -hmm. The way I do, way I do will knock you down. You know there's a motion between us. You want me to take you in my trust. most fun thing I've ever done in my entire life like hands down so much fun I cannot wait to do that again I didn't want to get out of the water it was so much fun. <gasps> did you have fun yes did you have fun it was that water it was it was kind of cool because there was like hot and like cold spots of the water like you'd be like swimming around someone peed you'd go to like we are back at the resort now the one thing about that snorkeling was that it was when you got out it was like sticky I don't know why, I don't, maybe just because it's the salt water, but it was I was so sticky. My hair, oh, I couldn't wait to get in the shower. So came back, I would say home. Came here, <laughs> I wish this was home. And he came here, took a shower, got ready. And you know, one thing that I love about YouTube is that I can be almost completely undressed and nobody knows because <laughs> you can't tell. So I want to show you guys the outfits that I have for today. I don't know which one to pick. I don't know which one to wear for tonight because it's our last day, technically. Last night. Our last night here. And I'm super sad, but I'm also super ready to go see my babies. And I love, like this is really nice getting away from them, but I wish we could bring them somewhere like this. Like, oh, it's been so much fun. And probably not to this exact resort, but the Charisma has like more family friendly ones. They have like a whole chain of them. So, oh, 
on, I'm already ready to come back and I haven't left. Anyway, this is one, a dress. I don't know if I should wear this. I've got these pants, a couple different cute shirts that I want to wear that I haven't worn yet. I didn't know what I was gonna wear here and so I just ended up packing a bunch of things like for options because I had no idea what to expect. So I have this dress, this outfit. This one's actually really cute. Like I don't normally wear these headbands but I feel like that'd be cute. Do you think I can pull it off? You think I can rock it? You think I can rock the headband? Look at it, it's so pretty. Yeah, it's kind of kiddish, huh? Lilia's eight-year-old age, yeah. maybe. I don't know what to do. Okay, I think I made a decision. I like this one. I was gonna wear the headband. If I wear my hair up, I might try to work it, but if I wear it with this outfit and this hair, I might just look like I'm trying way too hard, which I am. I don't fit in with anybody here. I'm not the only mom, but I'm like the only mom vlogger. I don't know, I love everybody. Like. Really good friends. I feel like everybody here is just way cooler than me. Like, I definitely don't fit in. I'm trying really hard to be cool, guys, but I'm just a lame mom. No, I'm a cool mom, a lame person. Yeah. <laughs> Ew, by the way, in case you're wondering, which nobody is, <laughs> probably, I'm gonna tell you anyway, though, my Invisalign, I had to take out to go snorkeling. Who would have thought? Well, I didn't have to, but like, if I wore it with, I feel like it wouldn't have worked. Random fact for you, if you plan on going, if you plan on going snorkeling, and oh, maybe I could wear the heels. It'll like dress up the outfit. Ow. What do you think, babe? I don't think he cares. <laughs> Would, wouldn't this be cute? I feel like I totally should wear these. I will be so cool, guys. I'll be blending in. Okay, this is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> That's why I don't try to be cool. I try to be like those fancy people where they're like, like this, like. I can't do that. Now I'm just being really weird. Yes, girl. Ooh, my shorts are a little short. Everybody here is wearing pretty much nothing. So, oh my gosh, I think I look cute. I don't ever think that I look cute. I've never stayed in a resort before ever, so this is all really new to me. So I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but every single thing here is for, well it's not what every single thing here once you're at the resort is free everything when you come and stay I, I mean okay duh i feel like this is such common sense when you stay in an all-inclusive resort it's all included but like i didn't realize it's literally all included like everything is included weird right so we just go around and there's like restaurants and just there's alcohol everywhere you walk or look <laughs> like literally everything is included you just go and eat and drink as much as you want it's pretty amazing ready put your pants on Let's go. We all need to teach Chris some Spanish. Everybody here speaks English, but like I try to use Spanish as much as I can. And I remember now I've taken Spanish since I was in high school, literally since I was in high school. It's been a long time. I'm vlogging. <laughs> it's okay. Hey! Hey! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. This is Tracy. Tracy, say hi. Hi. She's my manager. I'm Tracy. She's Tracy. She's awesome. I'll finish that thought later. What are you guys doing? What I was saying is, I didn't realize how much of it I still actually really, really remembered. Like earlier, someone asked if I, she's, he's like, oh, tu esposa? And he was like, what? And I was like, he's asking if I'm your wife. And it's so like, I remember a lot more than I like thought that I did. And it's really come in handy. So thank goodness to those two years of Spanish that I took in high school. My mom? Like, I don't have to confirm with her. I think she like minored in Spanish or something. Like, she was fluent. She spoke Spanish fluently, but like not till college, like not when I was a kid or anything. And then my dad too speaks Spanish fluently. So I know the language here and there, but not enough to like hold a whole conversation. Just a little bit, hola, like that. And so Chris keeps saying hi, like people, people will say hola, and he's like, hi. I'm like, say hola. <laughs> We're gonna eat now. My tripod right now is a four. That is awesome. So really quickly, I wanted to talk about snorkeling earlier. Really really this one, right? Yeah. Princess? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, sure. Yep. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Keeps calling me beautiful. Surely <laughs> they didn't like super talk about snorkeling earlier. Really. So really quickly, something that I realized that I haven't talked about yet. So freaking cool when we went snorkeling. You guys probably saw them in the montage, but I'm gonna go back really quickly. We had like a guide, and he like took us around, and he was showing us the path, and we would follow him, and he had fish food so that the fish would come. Anyway, he kind of like scared me for a second because he was like, "Come over here, come over here." And we're like in the middle of the ocean, you know? So I'm like freaking out. It wasn't like I was probably I think I was just a bit paranoid, honestly, because he didn't say it in like a scary way, but it was. 
that. Anyway, he was like, come over here, you guys, come over here. And he was like, go down, look. And so we went down there, and it was an octopus, a freaking octopus. He made it sound like it wasn't super like common to see. I don't know how common it is to see an octopus in your yard blank, but he was like tucked inside of a rock. And we also saw an eel, we saw fish, we saw starfish. I mean, tons and tons of fish, of course we saw fish alone. But that experience, oh my gosh, coolest experience I've ever had. Such a unique experience, something that you cannot, like I've been snorkeling one other time when I was like a teenager, but it was not in clear water at all, so this is just like a whole new ball game. So I don't know if I caught any of that on camera because the GoPro, the audio is just terrible, but it was just crazy because he was like, come over here, and there was an octopus. And we kept swimming down there because we had to swim like, probably like what, six feet down to the octopus probably? So we had to swim, we would like, because you're snorkeling, we'd have to hold our breath, go down there, and we kept going down, not touching anything, of course, we didn't touch anything, but we kept going and looking. Thank you. Thank you. And then eventually it started spitting water, which I guess means, did you hear him say that? He, so the guy was the guide was telling us that if they start spitting water, that's like your warning. Like you need to go away. So he was like, okay guys, let's go. But it was so cool. I've never seen an octopus in my life. Like I don't even know. Have we even seen one at the aquarium? Do they have one at the aquarium? I highly recommend snorkeling. If you ever come here, I highly or anywhere like this, really. Highly recommend it. back to the resort. I have to say, for me, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I am burnt. Oh. <gasps> oh, yeah. You didn't oh, see that? Oh, my gosh, no. This doesn't hurt. My legs hurt, so. Look at that. That's what I told you. Your, your shoulders, they were so hot, I was, like, touching your shoulder. It, oh, it my gosh. Well, what I was gonna say is, we just got back to our, our room, and, okay, why am I explaining this? You see it. <laughs> So great. Really, really hope that we can come back here because it's been amazing. We're debating if we should go to sleep or go out. A bunch of people are still going out, but we're like the lame parents who are like, but sleep sounds so good. We don't normally get that at home. Anyway, I think we're gonna wrap this up here. We have to get up really early tomorrow. Sorry, I don't know what happened. My camera's been like really sketchy. What was he saying? Um, oh, we've got to get up early and then Whoa. we're leaving tomorrow. So anyway, we're leaving tomorrow and I'm so I have very mixed feelings. I miss my kids so much to the point where everything that I look at and see makes me wish that they were here to see it. I keep FaceTiming them and showing them what I'm doing and telling them all of my stories. So I can't wait to go home and see them and kiss them. I've been following. I have like a whole team of sitters at home, like Janelle, my mom, uh, my friend Cheryl, my friend Roslyn, my friend Grammy. She is my friend. Grammy. My friend. I love you, my Grammy. Friend, mom. Um, Nani and Kylie. And we have so many people who are team working and helping out at home. So grateful for that. So yeah, I miss I miss them. But this is so cool. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up and I'll see you guys tomorrow in our next video. Good night.